how to be a champ <laughs> was a question and then I recollected what Benny the Jadjukide said. Benny the Jadjukide was a professional karate fighter and his mother was a professional wrestler, father was a professional boxer. Benny said my best tactics I used was practice, yes of course hard but at the same time I practiced disco dancing to get my steps movement, a different change from the regularity. So in most of the martial arts especially in Kyokushin they say no music, no karate. So you, you have to have the yin and the yang. Sugar Ray Robinson, born on 3rd May 1921 in United States, died on 12th April 1989 in California. Better was Walker Smith Jr., better known as Sugar Ray Robinson, was an American professional boxer who competed from 1940 to 1965. He was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990. He is often regarded as the greatest boxer of all time, pound to pound. Sugar Ray said, to be a champ, you have to believe in yourself and nobody else will. <laughs> yes, of course, nobody else will. Belief means, of course, what I keep saying is, it happens from your culture, from your childhood, if it has been taught, then Childhood habits are till the graveyard. Yes, yes. The childhood is very important. Those who lost the childhood because the world is a mix of different varieties. But still you can make an attempt. You can make an attempt. Yes, the regularity is very, very important. Like the ISKCON um, founder Prabhupada at the age of 60, he wanted to go to America and the lady asked him, at this age, what are you going to do? He said, age is never mom, it's not a problem. I have to really get into America. When he reached America, he went to the downtown, where all the hippies are available. And then next is Iskon's history, you can understand. To be a champ, you have to believe in yourself, believe in your strength every day with, without a single day stopping. The, the doctors tells you, People tell you that at least you have to give the body rest for one day. Yes. If you have to give the body rest for one day, then you have to stop eating on that day. That should be a fasting day. Otherwise, if you are eating every day, you have to practice. When you become, when you practice, you know, you don't have to believe. The body knows it strikes without thinking. Answers flows without thinking. You can feel when you're fighting and you're practicing so hard, even your intelligence becomes so powerful, the brain, every cell in the brain starts waking up, it sharpens and you can see the answers flowing so beautifully from a very, very experienced tra trainer, experienced trainer. To be a champ, you have to believe yourself and nobody else will. When you, are, when, you, when you think what others are thinking about you, then you will never, never become a champ. You have to make sure. Many of the people find difficulty at this time to practice. But I tell them, in the bed you can practice. A lot of exercise right in the bed. You can do that before you get down from the bed. Complete that one. You did it. You have your legs proper. You have your abs proper. You got upper body proper. Physical body. At the end you can see the physical body so stressed up because of the workout. What you have done in your bed. Go down and sit and do your pranayama, internal breathing, and then your dhyana. Then you can see all the stress in the dhyana. They say, just watch the dead leaf falling from the branch of a tree. How does the dead leaf fall from branch of a tree? And you can see the body relaxing. When the body is in the lowest level of relaxation, Dr. Dean Ornish. The chief physician in the White House for Obama and Bill Clinton said in that meditation all the diseases of God it was shocking. He tried it with a group of people who never meditated. Same medicine he gave and to another group who meditated. A group who took the medicines and meditated their diseases 90% was faster. Yes. Relieved. They were cured much faster than the people who have not meditated. Yes, it's a truth. So meditation, if you don't eat, 
then that day you don't practice. But if you if you think well, once a week I have to take rest, I won't practice, then that day you cannot eat. <laughs> then only you become champion because internally you have to cleanse the internal parts. The morning if you do it and then you go to your job, you don't have to worry because once you do it in your bed, you go to anywhere, you see a chair also, you keep pressing like this. Because you know you need strength, you need muscle, you cannot fall. The moment you fall, you break your bone. Break your bone, you can break your answers for the questions. Yes, both are connected, interconnected. Please try to understand that. So people, they see Bruce Lee, who was a martial artist here, who made um, martial art famous around the world through his Enter the Dragon and other pictures. Bruce Lee, even if he goes to Disco Center, his girlfriend was telling, I was looking around for him and he was not to be seen. And somebody said he was lying down. I looked at him, he was like, he was doing three finger push-ups, two finger push-ups, one finger push -ups in the dancing floor also. So when you do it in your bed, yes, you do it in your bed, your exercises, you go anywhere, you see a wall, you just press one, you press anywhere. You make sure that your body needs non-stop a reminder to strengthen and you will strengthen your physical body. Once you strengthen your physical body, you know before you eat any food, you not so good. Before you go to interview anybody, before you go to meet your boss, before you go to meet your employees, you will do your nostril blowing, then you do your anuloma will you control your breath. Yes, every student has been taught to do anuloma viloma before they go to the examination center because once your breath is controlled, when you have control on the breath, the breath doesn't control you. Once that happens, you have control on the questions and all answers. The right is interpreting action answers happens of its own. In that space is your meditation. That space is your emptiness. That emptiness makes you a champ. That man, in the champ, you have money, you have people, you have publicity. But if you are Haripari trying to take apps and trying to become a champ, then what money you make it? It just leaks out. Then when you become old, you suffer. So this is very, very important that you practice every day without a break. Even when you're practicing, uh, uh, sorry, you, you go for a dance, of course, all martial artists, all uh, practitioners, basketball players, football, cricket, everybody, they have to go to the dance floor to dance. And if the cricket player, he will he'll take the ball, he'll take the, the bat, he will swing the ball, that is the dance. For martial artists, even I, when I do the dancing, I ch I'll dance and people will be watching what is this? what can you do that? You don't worry what can what can what is your art? What is your truth that you have to non-stop demonstrate in any stage, anywhere? And you can go to any Western countries, you go to Tokyo, you can see all the children in the street, in the subway stations, practicing the instrument, practicing varieties tactics and put a small cloth to collect money never mind they practice if you cannot practice in the street you cannot go to the street you don't become that powerful so just practice don't worry about what others are thinking to be a champ you have to believe in yourself when nobody else will nobody else will believe only you can you have the power you are the champ go ahead and do it now 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 itself even if it is one, never mind, but stick on to that one, that one leads to 10,000 steps.